Today, my friends, we are making the Tiponche three ways. So of course, we're gonna make it the traditional way, like it would be served if you were in Martinique. Then we're gonna try Jim Meehan's recipe, and we're gonna end this, of course, with one truffles on the rocks way. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So the tea punch, what exactly is that? I realized recently there's a lot of people that are actually confusing the tea punch with the caipirinha. People think that the tea punch is actually a caipirinha with rum agricole instead of cachaca, which is actually not true. FYI, if you don't know what a caipirinha is, it's cachaca, lime, sugar, full of crushed ice. It is a very refreshing drink, almost like if it would be like a daiquiri served over crushed ice with a different kind of spirit. But the tea punch, as it is served in Martinique, it is actually what makes the biggest difference. It is served warm at room temperature with no ice. That's a huge difference. And also, second difference, it is not as acidic. It's more like meant to be a sweet cocktail with a hint of lime and lime oil because we got to model the lime. So it is actually very different than a caipirinha would be. So we're going to start by making it the way it should be served as if you were in Martinique. Full disclosure though, I was never there. So this will be according to my researches online in books and also according to what my friends told me, friends that were actually physically in Martinique and probably had quite a few. But if you were there and also add it in a different way, well, I'm curious, feel free to share your experience in the comments down below. So we're gonna start making a cocktail. So we're gonna cut half a lime in four pieces. To that, we're gonna add raw cane sugar. And it's my understanding that this recipe is pretty loose. Many recipes call for a spoon of raw cane sugar, no measurement added. So we're gonna go with approximately one full teaspoon of raw cane sugar over the lime. Then we're gonna muddle the lime in order to extract the juice, the oils, and also to incorporate and dissolve the sugar. So now it's time to add the rum, and the choice of rum here is very important. We need a funky white agricole rum with beautiful green notes and around 100 proof. As I said, this is a loose recipe, so we're gonna go with a loose pour of about two ounces. And now with a spoon, you're gonna mix and churn a little bit the ingredients to incorporate the juice and the sugar. And you're gonna leave it in there in case you want it a little sweeter. So you're gonna be able to stir it more to dissolve more the sugar, but that's it. This is how it should be served traditionally in Martinique. So now let's give it a try. When you are in Martinique, they say that this should be drank in only one sip, like slurped, chugged, not gonna do that. Uh, if you wanna see me do shots, we've posted a video about that a few weeks ago, so I'm gonna link it up here. But today, I'm gonna stick to the tasting with only one little sip. Cheers. It is pretty strong. Not bad if you like funky white rum, but I would say this is circumstantial. I wouldn't order that in a cocktail bar in North America, in Europe. This is actually pretty, pretty average. I guess that if I was in Martinique though, I would probably appreciate that. As I said, I think this is circumstantial, but I think there's a way to improve that and Jimmy N taught the same thing. So we're gonna try to make his improved tea punch recipe. Let's do it. The recipe comes from this book here, Mian's Bartender Guide, a great book by the way, beautiful recipes, I highly recommend it. So I'm gonna link it in the description and the pinned comment down below if you wanna have it for yourself. And I would like to quote Mian on something about the tea punch here. He says that the origin of a great recipe should be respected but the execution may be improved by bartenders elsewhere. And I feel that his recipe transcends that perfectly. In this case, instead of using a white Ayoctan agricole rum, we're gonna use a lightly aged agricole rum. So the vanilla notes, the spicy notes coming from the aging process will make of this drink a much smoother and tastier cocktail. So in a cocktail, a rocks glass, we're gonna pour two ounces of that rum. 
do that, we're gonna add one bar spoon of two to one ratio raw cane sugar syrup. Then for the lime, we're gonna cut a dollar size lime disc. So you want an equal part of flesh and skin in this case. So we're gonna go a little generous on the flesh like this. So you're gonna end up with something looking like that. And we're gonna express it both sides in the cocktail. So flesh side first to release the juice. And then skin side to release the oil. And a little more juice. Then we're gonna dump that into the drink. Then you're gonna fill your glass halfway up with crushed ice. And with a bar spoon or a swizzle stick, you're gonna swizzle and mix all the ingredients to cool it down, to add some dilution. And once you're done, you're gonna fill your glass all the way up with more crushed ice. You gotta need a straw for this one, just like that. And there you have it, my friend, Jim Mian's tea punch recipe. So now let's give it a try. Mm. Okay, now this is fantastic. You know, this is more like an old fashioned with agricole rum and a hint of lime flavors. It is beautiful. You know, when I was talking about the Caprina versus the uh, tea punch at the beginning of the video, saying that these two cocktails were completely different. This is the proof right here. You don't get a lot of lime juice. Uh, you just get a hint of it that will balance the sugar. It makes for a perfectly balanced, very smooth and delicious cocktail. I love it. So this is it for me and recipe, guys. Now let's try our version. You will see this one has nothing to do with the traditional version. All right, so last but not least, hopefully, our take on the classic tea punch. It's gonna be kind of a mix between the traditional version, Mia's version, and we're also gonna add some modern mixology technique by adding the tartness, lime flavors, and sweetness with only one ingredient, a homemade lime leaf and bergamot cordial. To make the cordial, we will start by weighing 7.5 grams of citric acid and 2.5 grams of tartaric acid. You will place that into a sous vide bag and then you will add the zest of two limes. Then you will wait and add 30 grams of lime leaves, 300 grams of water, 125 grams of sugar. Seal the bag, place that in the fridge and let that infuse for 24 hours. Once you're done, fine strain it, bottle it and add one drop of bergamot essential oil. And that's it guys, this is how you make the lime leaf and bergamot cordial. So now we are ready to make the cocktail and we will start by pouring into an old fashioned glass two ounces of clairin, which is an Asian pure cane spirit. To that, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of our cordial. Then we're gonna shape some ice on which we're gonna add a few dashes of Angostura bitters, about two to three dashes. Then we're gonna shape that shaved ice into a square of about two inches by two inches and about half an inch high. After that, we're gonna place that square of shaved ice over a beautiful block of clear ice. And this is what we're gonna use to cool our cocktail down. And then using the same method as Jim Mian does, we're gonna express a disc of lime on both sides, a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of lime oil, and we're gonna garnish the cocktail with it just like that. And this, my friend, is how you make our version of the tea punch. So now let's give it a try. Mm. It's not as cold and refreshing than Mian's version, but is already slightly diluted because of the crushed ice with Angostura. Already is mixing into the cocktail. It adds a little bit of spices. It goes really well with the rum. And then you have a hint of freshness, of lime flavors with the lime leaf that is also tastes a little bit like brewed green tea with a hint of freshness and green notes. 
the bergamot adds a little bit of bitterness that goes really well with the quinine and the angostura. In my opinion, this is a beautiful, beautiful take on the tea punch. I hope you're gonna like it. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. And it's getting better after a few sips because it gets colder, more flavors involving into the cocktail. I like it. Awesome. Cheers.